Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's your boy Rich, and I'm here with a very special guest. It's Amanda in Indonesia. How are you doing today, Amanda? Good morning, Rich. I'm doing awesome. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Just got home from the beach. My hair's still wet, so. Nice. Um, yeah, good morning. 7 a.m. Well, listen, we, we need to talk because there's a really big thing happening next week, and a lot of people are not talking about it. And we like to break the news first, so let's talk about it first, okay? So the big news that's happening next week is that there is the long-awaited farm bill, which is going to be voted on tomorrow, and it's most likely going to be approved, which would remove industrial hemp from the federal government list of controlled substances, making it a lawful agricultural commodity. The hemp legalization introduced by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. What do you think about this? Do you think this is going to be a catalyst, Amanda? Do you think the markets have hit a bottom, and are we going to see a resurrection? I think a resurrection is coming. I'm so excited for this week. Um, we've been waiting a long time for a catalyst. We've had little bits and pieces. Um, you know, some states have been voting um, on their marijuana, but this farm bill makes hemp and CBD and on it's okay on a national level. So that's huge. I think it's gonna blow up. What do you think? Oh yeah, right now, the lion's share of the roughly 800 million US hemp market today is for products that include non-psychoactive compound CBD. So uh, this is gonna open up the market and, and, and like it's going to go and what they're projecting here is they're projecting it's going to go from a $800 million market to a $22 billion market in the next four years. That's only four years. That's crazy. Like how much growth is that? What is that? Like 25? I don't even know those numbers. 25 times growth? I think if that's correct, if my numbers are correct, 25 times growth. From four 800 more. million to 22 billion in four years, that's 25 times growth. That, like, if you were looking at that on, like, a as an investor, that would be 2,500 percent. So, you know, to give you an idea, on a thousand dollars, you would make 25 grand. So, which stocks are going to be affected by this? How is this going to affect the market next week? Are we going to see an explosion next week? We saw the markets crash over the last seven weeks. We've seen it's just been decimated, okay? Everything went down to 52-week lows. We went lower than 52-week lows for everything in the cannabis sector, okay? Yeah. Seven weeks before that, we were at 52-week highs for the cannabis sector. Now, have we hit a bottom? The last two days, we've been green. Are we going to see a resurrection? I want to know. There's three stocks that are very heavily in the news right now three stocks that are in the cannabis sector that are on the senior exchange in america okay cannabis growth is obviously one of them um, aurora cannabis afria and chronos group let's say four actually let's add cannabis growth i want to know in your opinion would you buy any of those four stocks all four of those are listed in america but they are Canadian companies that are listed in America. Would you buy any of those four stocks right now? Right now, if the market was open right now, I would be 100% buying Kronos and Aurora. Because, I mean, I think they're really going to blow up now. They seem like they hit the bottom. I made some money on Kronos last week. And after I sold my position, I wanted back in immediately. So that was tough for me. I still want back in immediately. Um, Afria, even when everyone else was talking smack about Afria, I didn't tell anybody, but I was still up in there. So I'm treading lightly, but they're still my friends. Um, I believe in them. I do. Um, everybody makes mistakes, right? They'll fix it. Um, Academy growth. Um, I'm treading a little lightly. I don't think I'm getting in Canby. I believe in them, but I don't want them quite yet. But Canby Rivers, yeah, I'm getting in now. Like, hopefully this week. Because I think this farm bill is going to really help Rivers a lot, too. 
So yeah, what about you? What's your deal? Yeah, I think that Aurora cannabis is a buy right now. I have this feeling in my gut that they are going to resurrect something fierce at some point. I have it. And I've seen Kronos Group do a huge deal with Altria. We've seen Canopy Growth do a huge deal. And Afri is obviously under short pressure from shorters being attacked. So the one company that is ready for a big deal, maybe Coca-Cola, who knows, or maybe somebody okay. else, is Aurora Cannabis. And I'm predicting that they are going to explode. So for me, Aurora is the one out of those four that I would be buying, in my opinion. Do I think all four of them have the potential to go up? Yes. If I had to rank them from first to fourth, I would say Aurora Cannabis first, Kronos Group second. Kronos Group right now is an 88% buy on bar chart. Love it right now, but it's already exploded. So I would have liked to buy it a few days ago or even you know a few months ago, to be honest with you, when it was at four bucks. But I really, really like them right now. They have a lot of momentum. So I would have to say if I had to rank them the four, top four, I would have to say Aurora number one. I'd have to say Kronos Group number two. I'd have to say Afria number three because I still think at these prices, they're going to explode from here. They're going to get past this and they will explode. And I think that Canopy Growth, I really like them, but I just feel like they're so high priced and I just don't know about them right now. So I think they could come down just because they're such high price, but I really like them, obviously. And yeah, that would be my top four. But if I had to pick one, it'd have to be Aurora Cannabis. If you had to pick one, which would it be? Well, okay, I don't want to copy you, but the truth is, um, Rich System, buy low, sell high. And right now, Aurora is, it's, at, uh, it's a great buy. So yeah, I have to go with you on that. But I need more Kronos. So yeah, that's it. 22 countries, Aurora Cannabis, Hemp Farm Bill, might be passed on Monday. Let's keep our fingers Did crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. This is your boy, Rich, and Amanda in Indonesia. Amanda, keep doing great work out there. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, peace out. Let's go, Leafs. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy, Rich, and we're out. Peace.